The Avapai County residents are outraged over a proposed plan to build a mine right in the middle of their neighborhood. And today, the state mine inspector held a meeting for public comment where people could express concerns. Fox 10 Stephanie Bennett has the story. There are more than 100 homes in this Cedar Heights neighborhood. It's peaceful, quiet, and tranquil. But that might soon change all because of this. And how residents found out? A flyer on a telephone pole. So that whole hillside. We're expecting it to be gone. Vicki Neasley says these notices were the first time she and her neighbors learned that a potential aggregate mine was to be developed right in the middle of their quiet neighborhood. That was the only notice that we that we ever saw. We never got any public notice from the mine inspector office, from the owner of the property or any of the other agencies involved in this. The aggregate mining operation is proposed by Rock Supply LLC and filed their proposal with the state mine inspector's office earlier this year. They have other permits to get. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, they haven't received uh, permits through ADEQ or through MSHA or any other site. Um, so this is just usually where most people start is with the reclamation plan, and they move forward from there. The plan includes removing more than 616,000 cubic yards of aggregate over a 20-year operation, and it will sit on a 25 5.2 acre parcel that the company owns in the neighborhood. Danny Brummett lives the closest to it. 230 feet away from my house is the rock processing area. Dozens of Yavapai County residents speaking out Thursday at the state mine inspector's public meeting. On top of the noise and general eyesore, many residents are concerned about the mine's environmental impacts and issues it could cause to their health and flood routes. Concerned about what might be in that dust that'll blow over here. Um, how much water they might use to try to mitigate the dust, which will possibly deplete and or contaminate our wells. Two representatives from Rock Supply LLC were in attendance but refused to talk with Fox 10 on camera. After such a big turnout, another public comment session will be held in about a month. No one would ever want to live next to a mine. So to, for us to even escape that noise and all the stuff that goes along with it, you know, I don't, don't don't know what we'll do. For now, residents plan to hire a lawyer, and they tell me that their fight is only just beginning. In Chino Valley, Arizona, Steffi Bennett, Fox 10 News.